I do have one more question, but I will pass it on. No, no, you can and ask the one more question. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I've had a realisation just yesterday that I actually feel as though um, I'm fragmented mm -hmm. um, and that I have a very powerful protector inside of me who doesn't, who is probably in relation to the initial fear of feeling my emotion mm -hmm. is really protecting me from feeling that emotion. Mm -hmm. Is that, um, what, what is the difference between um, having a protector or having a spirit attachment and does it really matter? Like, do you deal with it the same way? I can probably answer it. You want to? Yeah, go on, fire. Well, one, a spirit is very different to your own emotions, obviously. They can connect to you through your emotions. But if you... I don't know if you're going to answer this question the same way, but if you have a part of you that has become a protector, that's a real emotion within you. So that's something you have to deal with. And, you know, we can um, label different parts of ourselves as different fragments, but in the end it's all emotions... And some of the emotions we have, um, you know, we've made a protector for ourselves in order to avoid the deeper, more painful emotions. So the protector is just like any resistance that we have. And if you, you know, if you're brave enough to face the emotions and the reasons why you've got a protector part of yourself, and love that part of yourself as well, but be willing to sit with that and face those emotions, that you'll get a lot deeper. If, if you've got a, you can have a spirit attached to that emotion within you and that can heighten the emotion. Do you know what I mean by that? So if you've got a part, it's a set of emotions that are your protector and resistor of all deep grief, that's, that's a really great place for a spirit who thinks that that's a really good idea to connect in with. But in the end, if that, those, emo those groups of emotions, it's just like any other spirit attachment, you have to deal with that group of emotions. Thank yeah, you. in order to heal yourself, yeah. And Jody, you're actually shaking as we talk about it. Um, so the, this is the protector going into... The, the reason for your protector mode is fear-based. So there's a, there's a real terror behind the protector. So, so of course that's going to prevent you from feeling some of the grief. If you can just cry about how, how terrified the protector is, um, that's the cause of the protection mechanism. And let yourself feel that terror. Just even speaking about the protector inside of yourself causes you to go into terror. So allow yourself to speak about the protector much more than you currently are. Yeah. Thank you.